In this tutorial, we're going to make a button change color each time you click it in React. So I'm currently in Stack Blitz. I'm going to just select uh, React. So it creates a new default project. And now we can actually begin. So first thing I'm going to do on the side here is in Files, I'm going to right click. Hold on. I'm just going to click on that. I make a folder and I'm going to call this folder components. Inside of components, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this our button. Inside of button, I'm going to create a file and call it index. And this is technically TypeScript. Huh. <coughs> Bless you. Um, so we'll just make it uh, TSX. You can also use JSX for this example. It's not going to change anything too severely. And uh, I'm just going to import React from React. That's fine, React is declared but never used. And then I'm gonna go class button extends react dot component. And then we need to create a constructor props and then we must say create a super in brackets props and then we must go this dot state equals button true and after this we need to have some logic here this dot handle click equals this dot handle click dot bind bind it to this to itself basically um, and that looks pretty good and what's the error over here uh, property handy does not exist okay that's a TypeScript error it's fine for this um, and then we want to go handle click and we can type in this dot set state and we're going to say button is not this dot state dot button that's looking pretty good once we've done that we can click return oh before we even do return I almost forgot we have to render this out first render and then we can say return And then we go div class name equals container. And close that off. And then go button class name equals this dot state dot button question mark button true or button false so those are the two options and we say on click equals this dot handle click let's just go through this quickly so we've got 
on click equals this dot handle click and we have to close this here and this needs to be like that there we go and then we can just have hello world text Close the paragraph, we close the button, and then we can close the div. And the last thing we need to do at the end here is type in react dom dot render. We go button comma document dot query selector and then we go hashtag up all right and over here we probably want to export this so what we're going to do here is type in export default button and I'm just going to copy this close that off and we're going to go over here, go over here, and let's just remove all of this. Let's do this. Now we've got this button. It doesn't do anything yet, and that's fine. And this error is button cannot be used as a JSX component. It's an instance type button. It is valid. It is not a valid JSX element. Button is the missing following properties. Element class. Okay, well, that's neither here or there. Uh, perhaps we should change this then to let's go back to our button and just rename this over here. Button color changer just so that we've got a unique name go down here and then go over here and we're going to remove that go over here and there we go. Now we've got the button. It still gives the error. And but we can now fix the styling of this. Right, so we're gonna go to st styling. And just looking at this button, the main styling we need is the container and then the tr button true and button false. So that's what we're gonna keep in mind here. So I'm gonna ignore the container for now. I'm just gonna focus on button true and button false so let's do it so first thing we're going to type in is dot button true and now we can just say background color green and we can go over here dot button false background color red and obviously you can add a lot more styling to this this is just to demonstrate this and you just click on this now it switches between those two colors now let's go through the logic quickly just one more time so we've got it we've got a con the logic the main logic is yeah if we read yeah it says our button class 
has a state, has two states. The state is either true or false. And it says here, if we click, this does a handle click. Oh, sorry. This does a handle click. And if we go up here, this dot handle click equals this dot handle click dot bind this. And we, so we're binding itself to its own click. And the state we're changing is to this dot state equals button true. And then over here, it says handle click this dot set state button is not this dot state button. So we're saying if it's true, it's false. And if it's false, it's true if you click it. So that's, this, is what's, this is the main logic of the app, the handle click event, basically. That's changing the, the color. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this very short tutorial on changing colors with React. And I hope to see you in the next one.